Good morning, world. Good morning, my people. Welcome back to the channel, man. If this is your first time coming across my channel, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, turn the post notification bells on, and then like this video because we finna get into some good stuff today. Y'all already know what it is, man. It's another video. Vibing with me to be. You vibing with your girl today. I'm gonna start this video a little bit different than the last one. I'm really thinking about start making this a series, like for real, because you know I like vibing. You know I like chilling on a good Sunday morning. So y'all yeah, already know what we're about to do. In the last video, I'm about to head to McDonald's get my coffee. Then you know we're gonna go on from there, because man, I got some stuff to talk about today, man. It's been a hell of a week in TV entertainment. Uh, just in the government, just in everything. Everything been crazy. So today we're going to talk about some of that stuff like that. But before we get into all that, man, you already know what we got to do, man. We got to go get this McDonald's. Y'all go ahead and get y'all something to eat, something to drink, because y'all know we're going to be vibing. We're going to be chilling. You know what I'm saying? We're going to catch the vibes. And we're going to do all that good stuff. So y'all don't like this video yet, man. Go and like this video. Share the video. We on the road to a thousand, man. On the road to a thousand. So go ahead and run up them subscribe buttons, man. You click in this video, click on the subscribe button. And you know, support your girl. You know what I'm saying? I got my bucket hat on. I still ain't just, you know, I ain't decided how I want to rock it yet. Like this, like this, like this. Oh, nah, I'm keep it like that. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it like that. I'm tripping. But yeah, we finna go on here at the McDonald's and man, we finna get this food, you feel me? So when I get my gits, like my get my gits, when I get my gits, I'ma be back, man. <laughs> hey y'all, I got my food, so it's time to get into it, you know what I'm saying? So y'all already know, man. When I go to McDonald's, I gotta get my coffee. Now they put it in the right cup this time, you feel me? I got the ice caramel coffee with the extra drizzle with the caramel cream on top. I said the caramel cream because it's whipped cream caramel drizzle on top. Y'all yeah, already know, man. I got my, you know, I got a little breakfast sandwich, a little breakfast sandwich. So this is going to be like a little muck bank, a little muck bank slash, you know. Yeah, just, you know, we finna vibe, we finna eat, you feel me? Before we get into all them topics, you know, I got to put a little bit in my stomach, you know what I'm saying? I got the sausage egg me muffin. You know you gotta put the hash brown on top. You gotta put the hashy on top of the bread. Put a little ketchup on me. You already know what it is. A little ketchup don't hurt nobody. It helps me. Ketchup helps me grow. Huh. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Sergeant McMuffin always does the better good. So y'all, we finna get into this video, right? So like I told y'all, man, it's so much going on in the world today. Like from politics, from another health scare which i think is all like i think it's all incorporating to the same thing i feel like the government is kind of you know kind of dictates and controls like you know the diseases and all that so boy let me ask y'all something do y'all really believe in this monkey pox scare that they have them especially when they say the origins is from like monkeys or some type of species in the wild and then they turn around and say you can only get it from men having same sex same sex with you know men having sex with men like and that's only if they having sex with men and then they having sex with a lot of different men like do that even make sense to anybody like come on man i'm not i'm not trying to be no skeptic i ain't trying to do no conspiracy theories but some of the stuff the government be saying just don't be making sense to me. Is it just me? Like, come on, like, how you gonna say monkeypox is a origin from back in the day? It originated from, you know, some type of species and why I don't know I don't know if it says from monkeys or it's from type of other animal, but I know it's from an animal. 
then it hops over to saying it's from gay men having multiple partners like what like y'all let me know because maybe i'm tripping maybe i ain't getting the full detail on what it is but i honestly like i i believe in you know staying prayed up following the footsteps of you know the higher power the universe the lord however you want to you know put the name on it because the stuff they coming out with these days just don't be making no sense to me like i like you know how we go from kind of still being in a pandemic because i don't really feel like it's over there ain't nobody said it was over yet you know people just start coming back outside and doing what they wanted to do which made me think was it even really a pandemic because if you think about that like ain't it precautions and procedures and stuff like people i just feel like people just start coming back outside but i stay in a rural area and to be quite honest with you we never really got shut down like we really like everything was still moving for us down here in the, in the small towns like i stay in a town with less than twenty thousand people and we really didn't get shut down we really i was still going to work every day like the kids was doing virtual have virtual have going like which was weird to me like because if you go one day of the week we should go all of them like what skipping a day going a day do like if you go outside you can get exposed like but anyway like stuff like that just kind of like threw me off for balance and i just be like oh like weird it like some stuff you gotta think out of the box and i feel like a lot of people just go with what they told and not just really just think you know just think about some stuff you know just think about some things you know god gave you a brain universe gave you a brain however you want to call it you know use it do some research you know do some research because i be googling everything and then again can i trust google i don't know Anyway, I'm gonna get up off that because uh, you know, it when you talk about politics and all that stuff like that, it's a touchy subject for some people. You know, some people you know go against the grain. Some people go with the grain. Some people just all over the place. Like they don't really know. They just hear. So I just you know I was I did that. You know that was on my mind. You know I seen a couple of influencers touch on it. You know what I'm saying. You know I watched Corey. Core Pritchard, Core Pritchard Jr. And you know, he had put it on his Instagram that you know, people crazy for believing, you know, monkeypox is a problem. Like, he don't really think it's a problem. But a lot of people, you know, with his background, ain't nobody, you know, he get a lot of flat for a lot of stuff he say. So, mm, we gonna let that rest where they rest set. But on to some good stuff. Have y'all been watching P Valley? Let me, man, P Valley. Oh my god season two season two has been going crazy like i feel like like they was already a top tier show but now they going in a whole nother you know a whole nother realm of entertainment of you know really exploring all this other stuff like a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people like uh, Lil Duval and stuff on Instagram talking about, you know, it's too much gay sex into it. But if y'all don't remember season one, Uncle Cliff and them, you know, maybe it's a little bit more nakedness involved. It's real. I don't know, but it's been same sex, you know, because the main character is gay, or transgender. I don't really know how she identifies herself because every time. You know, just like with Lil Murder Elster in the last episode, what are you? He said, I'm Uncle Clifford. And that's all it is to it. So, I don't really want to put no labels on Uncle Clifford. But Uncle Clifford is like, you know, has been around for years, man. It's been, man, a lot of men and, you know, it has the feminine ways. And, you know, I personally... I don't know how to say it. I personally, you know, applaud them, amend them for actually being this. I applaud anybody for being they self, like, for real. Like, as crazy and as judgmental as this world is today, 
you gotta applaud people and you really gotta give people their flowers when they're able to live their true self and not care what nobody else thinks because in the end of the day we all gonna die and there's only one judgment day you know regardless of anybody what they say you know you gotta live your truth if you ain't living your truth what you doing you just basically living a lie and you know that's hard being unhappy is hard and it's very depressing but as far as you know the show uncle clifford and you know especially with the big tech thing and then you got uh mississippi man it's just a lot going on like for real like man with the whole clifford thing okay clifford and little myrtle man I'm like, i don't know why like is it me but that is a touching love story that is a touching love story Clifford trying to find out like she she let her guards down a little little murder and you know not Ernestine sick I, I don't know if they're gonna kill off Ernestine I'm really hoping she don't because you know I like Ernestine she a funny grandma but even though she know she got COVID you know she's saying Clifford mama and all that like Man, whew, I had to hold back some tears last night, but it's, it's just getting deep out here, you know, especially with, you now Haley, all them nights is trying to help Mississippi, you know, escape from a uh, Bruce of bar friend. And, you know, not knowing that Haley went through a similar situation, you know, I know she said he was doing stuff to her, you know, and all that, but I don't condone domestic violence when anything anybody should nobody be putting it. i don't care if you man woman should nobody be putting your hands on you and then that's another thing like if you feel like you gotta hit people but everybody don't think the same so i can't say that i can't say that i'm about to say if you feel like you need to put your hands on people you don't need to be with them but everybody don't think like that everybody don't think like me but that's cool that's cool I feel like something gonna happen to Derek. Missy we're gonna do something to Derek. Cause when Hazel gave her that phone, saying when you do it, call me. I feel like Mississippi, she gonna kill Derek. She gonna do something to Derek, and Hazel gonna help her hide the evidence. Kinda like they did for Old Boy. When Old Boy was at the club, they got rid of okay y'all my phone had ran hot you know i am sitting in the car i really don't even know what i'm talking about but all i know is man p valley is really going off the chain right now it's really going in a whole nother direction i never thought it would go in i thought they were gonna keep it strictly strip club shaking booty doing all that type of stuff but man it's really good like especially with the new additions they got to the cast like they brought wanda in from snowfall like she ain't no crackhead no more like you feel me like she really up the man and she got the moves man like god they ain't like man wanda got the moves i can't think her i think her name roulette on here i'm not really sure i might be wrong you know what i'm saying she the girl with the dick sucking lips that's what they call her. But man, Roulette, Wanda, Big Lips, whatever her name is, man, she a good addition to the show. Man, I think she gonna take over the premises, especially when it comes to dancing. Cause you know, Sadie's at the game, man. Sadie's at the game and Sadie's about to be a grandma. <laughs> Sadie's about to be a grandma, man. Terrica done got pregnant out here. Like, they kind of played on the idea of abortion, which, you know, you can't tell nobody what to do with their body. So, if, you know, she a young look. You know, she young. I'm pretty sure Sadie's don't want her to go through what she went through herself, especially, you know, dealing with Patrice Woodbine. Like, God damn, that woman up. <laughs> She's so... Yo, look, Patrice Woodbine is funny, and she crazy at the same damn time. But I feel Sadie's like, I want to she trying to support her daughter in anything that she can do you know she already didn't miss the big part of her life so i i really appreciate sages for really trying to be a mother to her you know really trying to help her 
become herself and not what somebody else wanted to be. You feel me? So, yeah, man, it's the show. It got so many dynamics and so many things you can talk about, like through the intricate. It's like it really deal with like real life situations, like for real. Like COVID, you know, COVID popped off in the real world. You know, they handled it with the drive through. You know, the jab, the thing. They had old boy from the shine up, you know. Then bust all over the dashboard. <laughs> like, yo, like, they really, they really, you know, them two years they had to take off, they really, what's the word? They really sat down at the table and they really came up with some good stories. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm itching to see how they're going to end the season. It's only three episodes of, and, man, I'm, I'm like, really into it every time I watch it because you never know what's going to happen. It's not as predictable. I mean, I ain't going to say the first season was predictable, but it's a little bit more intricate, you know what I'm saying? Especially with, you know, dealing with suicide and everything, you know, big tech. I did not see that coming. I'm, I swear on everything. I did not see that coming. A lot of people said they seen that coming. I did not see that coming. I did not see Big Tech taking his life. He had a good day that day. You know, I knew he was, you know, he was a little different. He had a lot of anger built up. But, you know, I've never been a believer in, you know, taking my own life. I don't really know how that would feel. Because me personally, I feel like every day God wakes me up. It's a purpose. I don't feel like nothing happened for or accident or nothing like that. So I feel like every day that I'm blessed to stay on this earth, I have a reason. I'm here for a reason. I'm here for a purpose. And I, this is just my opinion, people. Do not do not take it, you know, out of context. I just feel like, you know, however you feel, however you feel. But this is how I feel. And how I feel is when I take my life that God has given me, you know, you know, it's a touchy subject because, you know, everybody go through different things. Everybody handle emotions differently. And I never take nobody decisions from them. I really know, but I can I can take my own life. I've went through I've been through the present stages in my life where I thought about it. But then, you know, I just seen that it can get better. Like, when I thought about taking pills and all that stuff, you know, it get, it gets better. And it has. It has got a lot of better. I didn't got, you know, I got my face back, little chunky face back, all that. So, man, you know, that, that subject a little bit touchy, but, you know, Tech came in, he did his part. I don't really know his real name, but he came in and did his part. I think he did, he did that part real well. You know, he showed the other side to murder that we didn't know about. Little murder had another side we didn't know about, you know. That he, and then I thought then why 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 I thought Uncle Clifford was his first like you know experience like Uncle Clifford was not his first experience and I'm like Lord it threw me for a loop you feel me it threw me for a loop man but continue to watch the season if y'all ain't been watching P Valley man go and watch P Valley man cause if y'all didn't know down in the valley where the girls get naked if you throw it fast then you know she gonna shake it one two you man watch the show that show is crazy it is entertaining it's it's funny it has its deep moments it got everything mr one man i think her name katori hall i think that's who the creator of the show whatever her name is man i think it's katori hall man she did her thing with this show like for real for real and it got something for everybody, you know, everybody down south living, you know what I'm saying? We connect with it so much, you know what I'm saying? So much. So, man, look, cheers to everybody who watching P-Valley. It's all good. Go and watch P-Valley if y'all ain't been watching P-Valley. And, you know, just keep, keep being happy, you know what I'm saying? We vibing, we chilling. I'm still trying to grow. Look, man, I know I talk a lot in these videos. But I'm still growing. I'm still new to this. I'm trying to be true to this. I'm trying to be true to myself. I'm just doing stuff that I want to do. But not real. I'm trying to figure out this platform. I'm trying to figure out what hits for me, what don't hit for me. So right now I'm doing different type of videos. You see me doing eating videos. You see me doing vibe videos. You see me doing cooking videos. Sooner or later, 
y'all gonna be seeing me doing some vlogs and some pranks and some stuff like that so y'all just stay tuned man with the i got the pranks i got the challenges i got the vlogs i got the mukbangs man I, i'm coming with everything so man if y'all ain't subscribed yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button because man i'm only getting better this is like my 15th 16th video like i've really only been doing this for like two months so man when i get in the game I'm in the game. So go ahead and subscribe, like this video, and go ahead and turn the post notification bells on so y'all know when I'm posting these bangers. Because all my videos are bangers. All of them. Even when I'm just talking. I'm vibing. I'm a vibe, man. I'm a whole vibe. So until next time, man, y'all already know what it is, man.